if Pandora jewelry is worth it seems to have been dividing the audience of this channel in previous videos. So let me try and explore the pros and cons for each side. The first thing I usually wonder, right, is how much is the material that I'll buy worth it compared to like just the silver. The Pandora Moments Heart Class Snake Gem Bracelet is one of the most common, most sold, most favorite items that they have. The link is in the description. That one costs at the time of recording this video roughly $65. The one I have which this one is broken because of previous videos that I've made, weighs roughly 16 grams. The current price per gram of silver is $0.78. A lot of the comments therefore stated that if you check how much gram of silver it has times the cost for it, right, the bracelet is overpriced for $65 because the simple value of it is roughly $12 to $13-ish, looking at the amount how much the silver is worth it. And if you look at, for example, AliExpress, right, this Chinese uh, online retailer which allows Chinese brands to sell items all over the world. A Pandora-like bracelet over there is available for roughly $15. Keep in mind though that I haven't tested if these bracelets are actually real silver. It might be something in the future. If you buy, for example, a Pandora-like bracelet, same style, right, from a Chinese brand, then you might have a rather limited view on the company. Meaning, do we know, for example, that that Chinese brand is treating the employees right, is considering environmental elements, is paying tax, is ensuring sustainable sourcing, where do they buy the, the material from, right, all that stuff. It might be, of course, different if you buy this from a local jeweler or your local brand. Now let me show you what you're actually paying for when you buy Pandora. Assuming we buy a simple hard glass snake chain bracelet for $65. Then based on Pandora's financial reports in 2021, I can give you a view on how that would translate into their cost. So Pandora, they split these $65 in roughly 23% goes toward the production of the bracelet, so roughly $15, meaning the materials, the raw materials, right? Paying the guys who actually make the bracelet in Thailand, for example, 42%, so roughly $27, goes into the distribution of the jewelry to more than 100 countries. The employees that are involved in the sale of this item, so the guys in the stores, right, for example, and the marketing, the ads on Instagram and all these things, right, to showcase Pandora to the world. 16.42% or $10 to $11 are costs on administration, financial costs, taxes, and such like this, right? Leaving Pandora with only only 17.78% of profit of this bracelet. This obviously doesn't consider everything, right? I just tried to make a simple example of how they spend our money when we buy stuff from them. So yeah, producing the bracelet is in fact one of the cheaper part of this whole process, right? Now, I however think that just looking at that simple factor can't just constitute the value of a bracelet in and by itself or the brand, right? There's other things such as, do people recognize that you wear Pandora? But I'll park this for a moment because the next thing I usually consider when I'm considering buying a bracelet is how long will this bracelet last? What's the quality of the bracelet, right? They did test if the, it's resilient on previous videos. Pairing that with the comments that you've given me, it gives us a view on how much where one gets out of Pandora. Pandora has different types of metal that they're selling, right? So sterling silver can maintain its beauty longer with proper care and storage. I've seen however in the comments that it can last five years plus and also that the tarnish is easy to some, for some people. 14 karat gold can pretty much last a lifetime. It's just because of the nature of the gold plated jewelry. I've seen that on average it lasts like two years before some plating might show depending on how much you wear it of course right but it can happen that might scratch off a little bit again if you own Pandora let me know in the comments what your experience has been so far I then wonder would people actually recognize that this is a Pandora bracelet YouGov Ratings is a website which measures popularity and fame of anything and everything in millions of surveys around the world. In the US, 83% have heard of Pandora. 43% of the people who have heard of Pandora like Pandora. 30% people who have heard of Pandora are neutral to Pandora. And only 10% straight out dislike the brand. From all the female participants, 89% of the women have heard of Pandora. And 51% of which actually like the brand as well. In the UK, we have a similar distribution of 94% have heard of Pandora and of all the people who have heard of Pandora 49% like it interestingly though Pandora is ranked number six on luxury brands in the UK Tiffany and Co is ranked number 23. Lastly, I checked Google Trends, which basically measures uh, the popularity of how many times people have typed in Pandora on Google search versus Swarovski, Tiffany & Co, and the rest, as an example, right? Looking at the United States alone over the last five years. Then you can see that Pandora has been typed in quite a lot more than the others over the last five years, which just gives us an indication that it seems that the brand is quite popular. By the way, my name is Ricardo. If you thought so far this video was helpful, please leave a like that would be awesome.
Now, if you want to part with your Pandora bracelet, it's important to consider how much you would get out of it, right? There are places on the web where you can sell Pandora bracelets, eBay for one. If you're selling it there, I recommend either sell it close to Christmas or other festive days so you get a better price, potentially. Alternatively, you can always take the bracelet and just sell it for the scrap metal, but again, you probably get more on eBay. Is it worth it, right? It's the big question. Well, it depends what you want. You can find cheaper jewelry brands out there making similar style charm bracelets or if you'd like to support a local jeweler of course right go for it if you prefer a global brand which seems to do some things right such as taking care of the environment or at least caring about the environment taking care of gender equality in terms of the organizational structure taking care of ethical aspects right and is recognized by lots and lots of people across the whole world then pandora might just be worth personally the fact that pandora is at the forefront when it comes to considering the environment and the jewelry industry is something that aligns with my personal personal values, which is enough for me to keep purchasing items from them. But I'm just a random guy on the internet. All I do is share the jewelry brands that I've encountered back to you guys. So the question really is at the end of the day, what do you think? Is it worth it to you?